Hello, I'm Tato Cat. Welcome to my channel. Today we are playing Ace Academy. Previously, we went on a fake date with Mayu at our house, or well, our uncle's house. And, um, now Nikki's trying to get us to get her to get into what's his name's concert. And, uh, hopefully, in this recording, you won't hear my cat eating out of her poopal. <laughs> so, uh, yes, let us continue. You promise. I promise. And he'll make it out to Nikki? Probably. Good enough. <laughs> I know I complain about her being like whiny about it. I feel like if someone told me they were going to a concert and I liked that person, I probably would do the same thing. I'm not going to lie. And I'm not even a teenager, so... I, I guess I shouldn't have room, I don't have room to judge her. <laughs> she, <laughs> she throws her arm on my neck. You won't hear my cat eating, but you'll hear her meowing. <laughs> and pulls me into a hug. Thank you, big bro. That'd be an amazing present. I mean... More amazing present would be taking me or getting me tickets to the show, but this is a solid second. <sighs> You're crushing me. She lets... Oh, oh, I thought she was saying... Okay, let's redo it. Oh, you're crushing me. And I was saying it because she said it was second. She lets go, then sinks back into the couch. Anyway, you should probably order dinner now. Why? She just said she was done with adulting, okay? I'm hungry, and I'm not cooking. My stomach growls in response. I guess I'm hungry, too. I go check out the takeout menus. After a delicious dinner, I head up to my room and do a little more research on Dashu and their other sponsories. Sponsies? Sponses. Sponses. Spon... Spon... Sponsies? Is sponsies right? I've never... <laughs> heard it referred to that way. I guess it's sponsies. Sponsies seems accurate. It's likely that I'll end up talking to some of them and I don't want to seem ignorant. Once I'm done, I go to bed and drift to sleep. The sound of my alarm wakes me up with a wide yawn. I push myself out of bed. A small part wishes I could have slept in again, but that part is silenced by the rest of me who was pumped for the big concert. I swap through different outfits and spend a little more time on my appearance. It's important that I make a good impression as I'm not only representing myself and my team, but I'm representing Ace Academy too. Once satisfied, I check my email or for the location of the event. It's hosted at the Isokaze Concert Hall, which makes sense. The sponsorship networking event is at a club next door. I head downstairs expecting to see a heartbroken Nikki, but to my surprise, Uncle Kaito greets me from the couch. A piece of toast hangs from his mouth. Hey bud, excited for her? Hey bud, excited for today? Is what I think he said. What? I just told you. Kaito swallows his mouth full of toast and grins. You don't speak food? 
not fluently, it seems. Are you excited for today? I told you. You already know? Are you kidding me? Nikki has been talking non-stop about it. Oni-chan gets to meet XC! <laughs> Why do I wish now that was Nikki's voice? <laughs> oh, that would be amusing. Did she really say that? Uh, close enough. We laugh. Speaking of which... She's hanging out with some friends. They're going to watch the concert together, but have to prep first. I don't really understand what that means. Neither do I. I check the time. Ugh, not enough time to make breakfast. Here. Uncle Taito offers me his extra toast. I know that face all too well. There have been many a morning where I had to go hungry, and I can't subject my nephew to that kind of life. So you give him a piece of cooked bread. <laughs> That's morbid. He laughs. I have a rare day off and can afford to make another. I grant and accept his offer th as offering. Thanks. Have a good day. I nibble at my toast and head to the garage. And I wolf the remaining toast down before driving it into the city. Soon I arrive at the concert hall. It seems a bit early if it's, if it's in the morning and stuff. Like what time is the concert? Aren't concerts supposed to happen at night and events later in the day? I don't know. I don't know about this sort of lifestyle. Where was I? Before my bubbling soon, I arrive at the concert hall. I wandered around the hall through the people bustling back and forth before finding the entrance backstage. There's a passage between the hall and the arcade as the oh sorry I got distracted I was like arcade in the arcade as the properties are owned by the same family as I pass through I uh, through I spot the signs directing me to the Dashu VIP arcade lounge so the event is at an arcade Okay. After proving my identity to the guard, I enter. As soon as I walk in, I spot many recognizable faces. Where Toads, Sydney Crossbow, Shanil O'Keel, Rissiano Ronaldo, just to name a few. Thank goodness there's no more names I can butcher. I keep waiting. I'm aware I'm supposed to know the most of those names, but I have no idea who most of those people are. <laughs> I keep waiting for someone to stop me and ask me what I'm doing here, but no one does. A few people glance at me in passing. Some even flash me a smile, as if to say, You're one of us now. Walking in the same room as these people is intimidating, but also exhilarating. Excuse 
any of the room. I don't see XZ anywhere. Broseph! Hi, show. I feel like you guys should be more dressed up. And then again, this is an early morning event at an arcade. I turn around and see Sho, Mayu, and Kaori approaching me. Hey guys. Can you believe this? My inner fanboy is going off the charts. Kaori shrugs. I don't see what the big fuss is. Me neither. Mayu chokes on her words and her eyes widen at the sight of someone. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, she, exclamation mark, she says. I think I only said two. I follow her line of sight, expecting XZ, but instead I see some old dude with white hair. <laughs> Breathe, Mayu. She takes a deep breath. It's Reboot Bond Beethoven! Okay. Who's that? Who's that? Yeah, who's that? If looks could kill, Sho would already be on the ground bleeding. Huh? Yeah, you don't know who that name is she just said is? <laughs> As Sho cowers, Mayu closes her eyes and sets her jaw determinedly. Then, with shaking legs, she walks towards the man. Well, then. I'm guessing he's some sort of Arth author? Arthur? <laughs> author? <laughs> Cardi blinks in surprise. I doubt any of us imagined Mayu was capable of something so terrifying. Mayu stalks closer to reboot von Beethoven, but as soon as his attention lands on her, she becomes rooted to the ground. Uh-oh. He waits patiently for her, watching her curiously. She remains frozen, so he smiles and pats her on the head and reassures his... then resumes his journey to the buffet table. After Mayu, internal system reboots she leaves back she hit she hops back to us with starstruck eyes he he touched me i wouldn't go around saying that i'm happy for you <laughs> i wouldn't raise it like that what's the big deal okay if we say that she's going to murder us okay <laughs> <laughs> I just said that. Um, I'm happy for you. I'm glad you were able to meet one of your heroes. He's not just a hero. He's Reboot von Beethoven. The greatest classical composer to exist since the original. Oh, that's why he's a Reboot Beethoven. Okay. I can't help but smile at the passion in her voice and hold up my hands in defense. No arguments here. Hello, beautiful people. Hmm. Again, you'd think they dress more fancy. I mean, I guess this is better. This is okay, I guess, but like this, this is not fancy enough for said event. 
Valerie is all smiles as she approaches. She throws an arm around me and Cowdy, much to Cowdy's dismay. What's with all the excitement? Uh, Mayu just met Beethoven. <gasps> you mean the Ludwig von Beethoven? I can't tell if she's being sarcastic or not. No. Reboot. Mayu nods happily. Ooh, he's the greatest classical composer to exist since the original. Seriously? Mayu bursts out laughing. And Valerie joins in. Their laugh is contagious. And soon we're all joining in. Why? When we finally catch our breaths, Cowardy looks around. Where is Yuna? Not sure. She might be busy handling logistics and stuff. That makes sense, actually. A man in a dashu hat interrupts. Hey, are you guys from Ace Academy? Yes. He checks off a name on his dashboard. You're up for the photo shoot. Please come with me. We look at each other, then shrug and follow him. He leads us to a secluded area behind a wall of curtains. There's a station already set up on a stage with a backdrop and lighting equipment. A man with a tied back ponytail barks directions at the models. His camera his camera at the ready oh his camera at the ready for some reason in my head it just sounded weird. Yeah, I feel like they could have just done a whole new thing instead of adding just more to this paragraph. Uh, uh, well, I guess they did. It's just... No, they didn't. Uh, it was the equipment. Ready. His camera at the ready. Ina stands to the side and studies the clipboard in her hand. As her manager, I guess part of her job is coordinating any events we attend. I hope she doesn't have to work the whole time. Hey, Yuna. She glances over at us and grins. You're here! Sorry I haven't had a chance to say hi. Are you helping with the whole event? No, I've just been getting our team affairs in order. You guys are doing okay? We all got Great! Well, they want a team photo of all of us. I've already worked it out with our photographer. We're going to be here... She leads us to the stage where the photo photographer is waiting. He directs us into a normal group stance with bright smiles. The shutter clicks constantly as he captures us from different angles. Perfect. Excellent. Very nice. Once he gets the takes he needs show the once he gets the takes he needs show wants to take a cool photo with the photographer's permission we hold action poses trying to look as badass as possible this is pretty fun I now want we to see need that. a solo model from the team. What? While I work on setup, Yuna, please coordinate who will be your swimsuit model. 
Wait, what? Why why is this a thing? A swimsuit? The photographer sighs impatiently. Yes! It'll be used for our upcoming catalog. The taste of summer. What's more summery than a warm beach? He walks off before Yuna can protest. Um, did you guys hear that? We nod. Who should do it? <laughs> we get to choose. Uh, normally I get really irritated when games give me choices that seemingly have no actual consequence to the games, but some of these are fun. Um, Cowardy could do it. Yuna should. Pick Mayu. Valerie, of course. Show! We will not be objectified. <laughs> it gets chill to do it. I feel like it's the same. Does it have an effect? Will it be like... No, I'm going to save just in case. Because if it's like you don't get a happy ending with Mayu. Oh, well, we might not because I basically tried to help her out on getting a date with Show, But, you know, if that's one of the things... If that's the thing that leads me to a friendship ending, I'm going to be slightly irritated. But Show. I vote show. Agreed. Yes. Of course. I mean, I'm sure Valerie would not care if she had to be in a bathing suit. But I feel like Mayu would be embarrassed. Kaori would be like, I will not be objectified. Yuna would have flashbacks. So. Mm-hmm. And if I feel like if we shot, we will not be objectified. They're going to be like, hey, you terrible people or something. No one misses a beat. Shell looks shocked. Yeah, what? Are you guys serious? Why are you all agreeing so quickly? Yuna flags down the photographer. We've made a decision. Don't assume I'm just gonna do it. The Cody gives Shell good knocking. <laughs> what was that for? See, they didn't voice that. You were obviously hoping one of us would do it instead. Pervert! Cho frowns, but doesn't deny it. Rosif, how could you do this to me? Listen, I'm on their side. <laughs> it was either you or me, bruh. The photographer gives Cho once over. Really? Him? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> he forms his finger into a box to frame Show's face. Hmm, I can see the campaign. Even if you look like this, there's still hope with Dashu by your side. Harsh! <laughs> I like it. Oh, oh my goodness. I resent that. Oh, show. I'm sorry. Come on. He was shown to the changing room. I will get my vengeance in this life or the next. His voice fades away into the distance. That turned out better than I could have hoped for. Once in front of the camera, show is surprisingly impressive. He's doing a great job. Y yeah. I knew he had it in him. We all cheer him on. Some other women in the crowd hear our cries and watch show with interest which only encourages him at this rate his photos will turn out better than ever afterwards he changes back into his regular clothes and rejoins us Whew, that went better than expected thank you very much we have everything we need you're welcome 
we exit out of the photo area and back into the main lounge. What do you guys want to do now? Valerie lets out a loud squeal. <gasps> Look! Does he get a sprite or is he going to be a shadow too? She points to none other than XZ, who is steadily walking towards us. He does get his own thing. Look how important he is. And he gets the theme music to play when he enters the room. He's a lot taller in person and a lot cooler. I have to admit, Nikki was right. He is more attractive in person. XZ! That would be me. He grins charmingly. I don't believe we've met. Are you new? I doubt I would have forgotten such stunning visions such as yourselves. All of us, including me, XZ? Well, listen, we can fanboy over this. <laughs> if I had it my way. <laughs> Satsuma definitely will. Each girl turns as bright turns a bright shade of red, including Kaori. They shoot him nervous glances of elation and awe. Even Valerie has lost her cool. With all of them speechless, XZ looks at Sho, who's equally smitten. <laughs> That's the power of an idol. <laughs> XZ grins understandingly. <laughs> of course, he must be used to this. Finally, his gaze lands on me. Do we have a choice? Oh, uh, hi. We're from Ace Academy. Dashu is sponsoring our team. Ace Academy? That means you guys are pilots. His face lights up, and he seems genuinely impressed. I motion to myself, Sho, Mayu, and Kaori. Uh, we are. I point to Yuna. She's the team manager. Then I point to Valerie. And she's our engineer. Exe winks and gives us Thumbs up. That's hardcore, man. I always wanted to be a pilot. What a cool job. Uh, um, excuse me, XZ Senpai? <laughs> Notice me! XZ laughs. Just X is fine. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, excuse me, X Senpai. <laughs> Do you think we can. Get a photo, please? Yeah, me too! Xy nods. Sure. Why don't we get a group photo? Good idea! Count me in. Cardi nods with a smile. X motions to a nearby Dashu employee. As we get into place, each of us Surreptitiously. Wasn't expecting that word. Trying to stand right beside XZ. The photographer comes out from behind the curtains. His camera at the ready. Everyone say Z! Oh no. <laughs> We say Z in unison and have a good laugh as the photographer, as the photo is taken. Excellent! I'll make sure to have these emailed to you all. Thank you! 
And thank you, Mr. Z. What about our um, autograph for our sister? You guys are too formal. Kick back and have some fun. We're gonna be rocking out soon enough. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> a man in a suit comes over and whispers in Z's ear. Time for warm ups and stage prep. You're coming to the show, right? Of course. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Good. I'll be looking for you. After flashing us one of when last thumbs up, he walks towards his manager. Well, uh, we'll see how the concert goes and if we fanboy pass out in the next episode. I'm Tana Pat. Have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon.